Fish on. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Look at this tanker of a crappie, man. Look at this tank. Oh, rip and wrap just got smoked, and it is a gorgeous crappie. Yeah, man. Look at that crappie. That's a good one. He just annihilated this little pink rip and wrap. That's a good sign. Good sign. We got some fish down there and they're aggressive. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Beautiful crappie. Those are the ones that we're after, man. And get him back. Fight another day. Oh. And he's gone. Again, that was just on a little tiny pink rip and wrap. Great little bait. Back down there and see if we can get another one. Fish on. All right, nice fish. Another huge golly. Look at the size of that crappie. Look at the size. Would you look at it? <laughs> Golly, these fish are so awesome. Man, there isn't much that gets me excited like big crappies. I'm just telling everybody, in case you haven't noticed. I love me some crappies. Especially when I can find some big magnums like this. Yeah, look at that crappie. Nebraska crappies at their finest. Going down the hole. Fish on. Oh, this feels like it could be a big crappie. Oh, maybe a bass. Oh, ho, ho, ho. man, that one broke me off. Holy guacamole. Jeez. Wow, just snapped me off. Fish on. Another one on the rip and wrap. There we go. That's what I was wondering about. A little perch this time. I'd heard that there were some of these in here, but this is the first one I've caught in this pond. Man, they were just on that rip and wrap this morning. Just a little yellow perch. Like them, they get bigger than that, they'll go in the bucket. So, get them back down the hole. The rip and wrap is tearing them up today. That means it's going to be a good day when those fish are nice on a nice aggressive bite like that. Usually the fun ones. Oh, yeah. Another nice crappie. Another nice crappie. Yeah, buddy. On the crappie slayer. We love the crappie slayer. Me too. Jeez. Whipping up just got hammered by a fish. Missed him again. How do they miss all those treble hooks? Or how do all those treble hooks miss them? Who's ever fault it is. Fish on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice crappie. Nice crappie. Not a super tanker, but just a nice, solid Nebraska crappie. And he came in and just hammered it like they're supposed to. There he is. Beauty of a crappie. Once again. Fish on. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. 
Look at this tanker of a crappie, man. Look at this tank. Man. Them's the ones right there. Look at that thing. Just an absolute monster of a crappie. Golly. Man, that is so awesome. Big old crappie. Big old crappie. Golly, am I so excited when I catch one like that. So excited. Gotta get a quick picture. Yes, man, those are the ones right there. Look at that big old Nebraska crappie. Yep, let's get them back down the hole. Yeah, buddy. super tanker but just a nice solid Nebraska crappie and he came in and just hammered it like they're supposed to there he is beauty of a crappie once again on the 308 Slayer monkey milk color seems to be becoming the crappies all-time favorite in this pond like a pretty good choice to me all right everybody this spot slowed down just a little bit it's about nine o'clock slightly warmer out not a lot but as promised I'm gonna get up and move around a little bit we're gonna explore this pond there's another basin kind of off to my left front here we're gonna skip over into there and drop the live scope in it see what everything looks like over there and see what we can find let's go do this Man, what a beautiful day out here. It's gotta be in the 40s, or at least close, but there's not a breath of wind. The lake is looking beautiful today. The ice is still 12, 13 inches deep. Got the sled all loaded up. We're gonna go bang up on this little pond and see if we can find some crappies and some panfish.
All right, everybody. It wasn't much of an intro earlier today because I got here and drilled a hole and there was fish everywhere. And over the next 45 minutes trying to catch fish and set up cameras and set up the shack, um, I didn't even get the intro done. It was dark anyway. So we're out on a small pond here in Nebraska chasing panfish today. We've already caught a couple crappies, a couple bluegills, a bass, some perch. So we're starting out with a good mix. Um, we're marking fish pretty consistently. Oh, jeez, Louise. Fish on. Jeez, this is what I'm talking about. This is a big fish. Big fish. This has got to be a big old bass. Man, that's what I'm talking about. I just can't get much done and I got fish all over me so that's a good problem to have and we're gonna capitalize on these fish today and give them heck oh man this is a big fish I don't know what I got but oh came unpinned I'm feeling that was big old six pound bass man golly that's so much fun gosh man we lost him little tiny rip and wrap on this rod I've got the 308 baits crappie slayer on my right rod and then I threw on just a small panfish jig today because I wanted to check and see if there was perch and bluegill um, I've caught both of them today and oddly enough one of the perch I caught on the small tiny jig and the other one caught on the rip and wrap so um, honestly I gotta say that the rip and wrap's probably been the most productive lure today um, but the slayers caught some fish the jigs caught some fish so we're gonna stay after these panfish today have a good time pretty cold today but there's no wind so they're good conditions a little bit later when it warms up I'll flip over the shack and we'll go explore this place a little bit see what's around we're gonna have a good time so hang with me Fish on, golly, a whole bunch of them down there, just working me over. They must be little guys. Oh, no species, blue gills. That explains it. Blue gills working me over. Ugh, you got a mess going on here. You got me all tangled up. Of course, let's get him out of here. See if we can. Oh man. Golly, another one. Jeez. I'm a fish losing son of a gun today. What the heck, man? Losing fish like crazy today. That's usually not my ammo, but. Today is just not going well in that sense for me. Fish on! On a little jig. I don't know what I got here. Doesn't feel very big. Perches. Perches. Little baby perch, man. Little baby perch. That means there's probably some big perch in here somewhere. I'm gonna have to do some looking for those. Fish on. Feels like a good one too. Maybe not. No, it's just a average size bass. But I'll take him. As he doesn't hook the crap out of me. There we go. Little large mouth on the rip and wrap. Right there. Nice little fish. 
got a bunch more down there, so I'm going to hurry up and get it down. And get on 308 crappie slayers are the ones today so far. Started out on a rip and wrap. Now they're kind of slowing down on that, going after these 308s. I'll take it. Every time. Oh, see? Perch are getting better, man. Perch are getting better. I knew there was going to be some bigger ones in here. He came up after that rip and wrap and just hammered it. Hammered the rip and wrap. A little more aggressive today. Not a lot of days when you're out fishing and you can get a fish to pass up a soft plastic or a piece of bait. Go right after a big aggressive rip and wrap. That's what we got going on today. Beautiful little perch. Haven't been into these here yet. Not quite eating size, but they get a little bit bigger and some of these bad boys will be going home. Nice perch finally bit. That's a good one. That's a good perch. I'd definitely take a bunch of those. Look at that. Sweet. Getting back down there. Alright. So we got the top off. Moved just a little bit, not very far, but right away scored a really nice perch. Water's a little deeper here, but not much. When I say not much, I'm talking about like five inches deeper is all. But in a pond that's only seven foot deep at the deepest spot, four or five inches is a huge difference, so. Yeah, five inch depth drop is a good one to find. Oh, now see, perch are getting better, man. Perch are getting better. I knew there was gonna be some bigger ones in here. He came up after that rip and wrap and just hammered it. Hammered the rip and wrap. They're a little more aggressive today. It's not a lot of days when you're out fishing and you can get a fish to pass up a soft plastic or a piece of bait and go right after a big aggressive rip and wrap. That's what we got going on today. Beautiful little perch. Haven't been into these here yet. Now we got to stare down. The way that first one bum rushed it, man, I thought for sure. I was about to get crushed. That's not how it went. Oh crap, here we go, here we go. Fish on. Oh, it feels like a good one. No, bass, doggone it. Little bass. Man, I thought for sure that was a big old pig crappie. Little bass. There's still more fish down there. Maybe they're the crappies. Shoot. Sometimes it's the missed opportunities that hurt, man. So something I just wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm seriously considering buying a fishing kayak this spring. Um, I've had fishing kayaks in the past, just started out with a cheap $200 one that I bought at a department store. Um, then I bought uh, a Send Kayak 127T from Bass Pro Shop. And I really like it, but I have problems managing my fishing and paddling at the same time. So, I've decided I'm going to buy a Hobie this spring. I'm considering the PA-14, but I have also wanted your guys' input. I know that there's a lot of kayak manufacturers out there that have pedal drive kayaks now. Um, 
the Hobie's been around for a long time. It's big, it's got a lot of room. That's the biggest reason I'm choosing it. But if you guys have any reasons why I shouldn't choose it or why I should choose something else, I'd sure like to hear it. Comment on the kayaks that you love or if you think I'm making the right choice with the PA-14. Um, just let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited to get out there and do some kayak fishing on some of these lakes this year. Oh, here's a big fish. I'm about to get hammered. Hammered, son. Hammered. Come on. Fish on. Oh, big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Come on. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, why do I keep losing so many of these fish, man? My hooks even have points on them. Yep, there's a point on there. I just don't understand. Golly. That's like the third or fourth big one I've lost. I'm going to try opening this hook up just a little bit. Just a tiny bit, see if that helps. But, man. Paper mouth crappies are a pain. I don't know that that's what that was though. I think that was probably a bass. If it was a crappie, it was the uh, biggest one I've ever caught for sure. So, or ever lost, I guess I should say. Anyway, what I was saying, the kayaks. Yeah, if you guys have any kayaks you prefer, or if you love the PA-14, comment down below. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you like about the 14, or if there's something else you think I should get. I sure appreciate it. Double rod in it. Oh yeah, crappy crappy. Got a fish a bass on the rip and wrap and a crappy on the 308 slayer. There's the crappie. Going back down. There's still more fish down there, so I'm trying to get something back down. Let's see if any of them are interested. Fish on both rods. Golly, I'm gonna have to let one of them relax here. Perch, little perch on the 308 bait. Let's get this other one in and see what we got because it seems a little madder. A little bigger. Bass. Not a giant, just a good one. Ah. Bass, bass, bass. You know, I haven't caught as many bass today as I usually do. And all of a sudden I'm catching perch and caught some really nice crappies this morning. I'd like to know where they went and hid out because I'd like to just camp on top of them for a while, but we're catching fish, a little bass, a little perch, all together. This is, there's a, about an eight foot ditch that runs all the way along the bank, the south bank. And those fish are just using that ditch. Now, I got out this morning, I walked around the lake, I drilled a bunch of holes, I used live scope to look around, and I didn't find any water that was much deeper. deeper. Right now I'm in six foot eight inches, the deepest water I found the entire time, oh, here comes some fish, was just right at seven foot, and I didn't see any fish in it. So, they do have some deeper water, but they are using this ditch along this shoreline and they're just making a run i mean the schools of fish come through they go out you know you're dealing with 
six and a half foot of water so you can't really go chasing them because every time you move into a spot you run all the fish out so this lake is just a place to kind of camp um, and try and wait out those fish and when they come through just like you just saw I mean everything comes through this morning I was catching crappie and bass and perch all together oh fish on that one came out of nowhere oh another big fish what do I got here Come on, stay pinned this time. It's a big fish. Oh, another good bass. Another good bass. Ugh. But anyway, what I was saying is when the fish come through, seems like they all come through. I mean, I'm catching bass and perch and crappie and everything all together in these schools. There's another good little bass. Get him back down. So yeah, you're just waiting them out and you kind of have got to have everything ready to go. The good thing is too, is that they're all kind of biting the same old thing. That old 308 bait crappie slayer, everything in here wants to eat it, which is a good, good thing when the fish are squirming through like that. Cause you ever, golly, he's big. He's got my other rod tangled, transducer. Big old bass, huh? Oh, ain't not as big as I thought. Just mean. Just mean. He's still a good one. Ah, man. He fought so hard for his size. I'd have thought he would be twice this size by the way he bit it and ran with it. Another bass. Bass are picking up midday here. Nice little fish. Man, he fought hard. I thought he was twice that size. <laughs> Down he goes. Oh. So the tip up, or tip down, just went for a quick ride and then came right back up. So, I'm not sure. I know my minnow's not strong enough to pull it down like that, so there's something over there. Oh! time we're gonna get it this time we're gonna get it see it tipping down just gonna follow it fish on what do we got bass bass kind of figured that man he was pretty unaggressive as far as bass are concerned, but we got him. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this tip down. You don't see me using them very often, but when things slow down, they work so good. Let me grab another minnow, and I'll show it to you while I set it back up. So, what you want to do is get a good ballpark for the weight of your bait. So the way I rig these up is I use a little lead jig and I just lip hook my minnow and then I'll put a little bit of split shot on it. Now these things are very important weight wise what you do because what you want is when your minnow's on there 